began thanking the church for your prayers. Amen. Amen. Uh, during my minor surgery on yesterday. Amen. Uh, you know, when you're not accustomed to having surgery, you're very apprehensive. But the main thing is to have faith uh, that God and I, I did not fear. You, you, you have those human emotions. But uh, by your prayer, you sent me texts yesterday. You got several texts from you. I, in fear of missing somebody's name, I say thank you for your text. Yeah. Yeah. Encouragement. Yeah. And I want to thank Sister Scott. She was right yeah. there. Yeah. Right there. They used to have a, a sling in the word Johnny on the spot. <laughs> Over yeah. to the to where they was having the surgery, and uh, we got there on time. As a matter of fact, they were behind, mm -hmm. and it was like an assembly line. Mm -hmm. People were waiting in line to go in, mm -hmm. and they were um, so accommodating. When I got there, they were very nice. Amen. And they explained each procedure, what they were going to do. Right. Uh, and the, the anesthesiologist, he said, you ever had any uh, surgeries? Or, can't think of anybody out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but anyway, um, they gave me the, uh, they said, well, we're going to give you minor anesthesia, in which I'm still kind of recovering. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, when I got home yesterday, I was still sleeping. <laughs> Even today, I'm still kind of trying to work out of it. Amen. But the major thing, uh, I spoke with the doctor today. He examined me. Afterwards, uh, everything was it's still bright. I, mm -hmm. I, I'm still, it's going to take some, you know, some time for yes. it, the swelling to come down mm -hmm. and so forth. But the major thing is that God, the Lord Jesus Christ, was my doctor. Amen. 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 He, he, just, he just used Amen. the surgeon. Amen. And uh, the way they went about it, it was very professional. Mm -hmm. Made me feel comfortable. Amen. And today, he said, I went in right afterwards. One lady was sitting next to me. Oh, she was in so much pain. I just felt sorry for her. I mean, when she went in today, I said, well, I, I was explaining to her that I had the surgery and you had a little discomfort. And mm -hmm. I kept taking, uh, putting my medicine in. She said, I don't have any medicine. Mm -hmm. She said, I wish I could have just stayed in the bed. I'm mm -hmm. hurting so bad. Oh, wow. I said, Lord, I just start praying for her. Yeah. Yeah. I started praying for her right there mm -hmm. at the doctor's office. And when I went in and they examined, uh, my vision is better. Amen. That's what they told me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm still waiting to see when all these bright brightness. But it's going to get better. Now. Yeah. Pressure was high, but the doctor did something to bring it all the way down. Mm -hmm. It's never been seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> down to seven. Well, high pressure down to seven. I said, wow. Mm -hmm. He brought it down. He said, I put the pressure on there, brought it down. 
It was up to 31. Mm -hmm. So you just brought it right down. Mm -hmm. I hope it stayed down there. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to allow him to do the other procedure. But the young lady said, she was checking the chart. She said, hmm, complex. I think she said it was complex surgery. Mm -hmm. I said, what? <laughs> and the doctor came in and explained it was you, your surgery was a little different. It was a little, it was a lot, a little complex because you had to stretch something mm. so that it was a little longer than 20 minutes. Mm. We had to, I said, well, in my mind, I said, well, Lord, I'd already say God the doctor. Yes. 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 You know, you can't beat the Lord. No, you can't. I don't care yeah. what. Yeah. Too many people put, sure, doctors are fine. Yeah. But the Lord is your doctor. Yeah. 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 Yes, he is. I, I just glory in him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And um, he's uh He's the one who, even though the doctor was doing the, uh, using his hands, but God was using him. Yeah. 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 He used his mind what to do. Yeah. 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 While I was up there, I went to sleep on the table. <laughs> I woke up and it was only just, just about, uh, not too long after that, I guess I was asleep for about 10 or 15, 20, 20 minutes, I don't know. But anyway, uh, they have this new technology now that uh, it will probably last a longer period of time in past years. Mm. And the recovery time would be much longer. Mm. But during this period of time, God has blessed man yes. to have the knowledge yes. and, yes. and the wisdom to uh, make things more simple. Yeah. I was talking with the superintendent. He was telling me that in, I believe, in North Korea, people were walking around blind because the leader wouldn't allow the operation. And people were walking around with cataract, blind cataract. He was telling me that the laser goes in there and break up the the cataract particles. And uh, uh, so that I, all I was doing was looking at two or three lights as I was laying up there. And after a while, I, I don't know where I was, but I woke up. <laughs> Next thing I know, they were setting me up. And said, take your time. And said, can you stand up? I said, yeah, I can stand up. So, um, Time to go back Friday, he won't check the pressure. Mm -hmm. He's concerned about the pressure. Mm -hmm. And ooh, when I put that medicine in yesterday, I have three drops, mm -hmm. three medicine. Thank you, Audrey, she checks on me. Mm -hmm. My outside nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Green, brown, <laughs> red. <laughs> They was checking on, on, on that also. They went over the medicines that I stay right on top. Now, it must be something to that to stay with those drops. Mm -hmm. it, it has to be something to that to stay with those drops because they don't want anything uh, infection. Yeah, so they're keeping it right on top. And it goes over to next month. So I said, man. Mm -hmm. Plus the uh, other drops. But you know, I just want to say, God, you never leave God out of your business. And when times like this come, you don't become afraid. You become apprehensive. Yeah, it's, it's human nature to, for your affected filter to go up. But the Lord have a way to calm you down. Yes, so when I walked through those where the operation was, I walked in there with Jesus. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Lord, I'm, yeah. walking, I'm walking in with you. Yeah. But you know, he was already there. Yeah. 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 
He was already there. Amen. 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 And I just want to encourage, encourage somebody, those who are looking, take Jesus as your doctor. Amen. 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 Yes. On number on several occasions, I uh, even when I was a child, I was sickly, but he was my doctor. Yeah. Amen. 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 Then when I grew up and, right. and I was, oh my goodness, he was still my doctor. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. Then when the doctor came back with a, a bad report about seven, eight years ago. I went to the Lord, yeah. and he fixed that. Yeah. 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 He brought the numbers down. Yeah. Yeah. He's still my doctor. Yeah. 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 Yes, he is. Yes. When I was sick for two years, yeah. just all this, this, mm -hmm. and I started losing weight. Yes. Yeah. And doctors didn't even know that. I they took an MRI. Mm -hmm. and I keep, they can't find nothing. Mm -hmm. I was losing weight. Mm -hmm. And one day, I kept praying, kept praying. Yes. Lord, woke up one morning, trying to feel where that pain was. Yes. That was no pain. All right. And still was God. Yes. 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 This is my Bible lesson tonight. Yes. All right. It's all right. Yes. That Jesus is the doctor. Yes. Yes. I was. Yes. Yes. And he healed me. Yes. 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 And I appreciate that, oh, son. He's yes. the doctor. Yes. 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 Just this, uh, yes. Yes. Just on yesterday. Yes. Yeah. So I just, I, I, that song, I just made it my choice. Yes. 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 So you got, you got different uh, listings in the Yellow pages of doctors. Yeah. I didn't find my doctor in the yellow pages. I found right it. Now. Yeah. 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 I want to read you something. And I want you to hear. Now, if I know, stumble some, over some words, just disregard that. But I want you to hear something. And I want you to tell me what do you think? Mm -hmm. All right? Members, one more, once more, I am led by the Holy Spirit to write to each member. I want you to sit down as soon as possible. Be relaxed and read this letter that the Lord has put on my heart for you. His church in times like these. These are times when all of us must keep spiritually awake. Mm -hmm. These are times when we can become very weak mm -hmm. in our Christian duty. Mm -hmm. Satan has so many things to attract our attention in order to lead us away from God. He makes us forget the many blessings that he has before bestowed upon us in the Restored upon us. Mm -hmm. Satan tells us that our troubles are worse than what they are. Mm -hmm. What they really are. Mm -hmm. These are times when we must stay spiritually strong mm -hmm. and trusting in God. And we cannot stay spiritually strong by letting Satan give us so many different kinds of excuses mm -hmm. to stay away from God, mm -hmm. God's church services. Mm -hmm. When the Holy 
spirit can move within our move within and speak to us. In other words, let me read that again. These are times when we must stay spiritually strong and trusting in God. And we cannot stay spiritually strong by letting Satan give us so many different kinds of excuses to stay away from God's church right. services. Right. When the Holy Spirit can move within and speak to us. Right. Satan knows each time when we obey him and stay home or go someplace, just any place, but to your church services, this way he cheats you. Yes. For he knows you need God. Yes. And God will bless you when troubles come. Our prayers are weak when we are backsliding mm -hmm. right. in sicknesses, troubles, trouble, hard heartaches, we suffer needlessly. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's true. He knows. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Satan knows that we are nearing the judgment yeah. Yeah. and wants you, your soul, in hell. Right. You know you can stay away from worship service so long you will get to uh, to the place where wrong looks right <laughs> and right looks wrong. And if you have been working in the church, he will tell you tell you wrong things right. and make you believe all kinds of lies. Right. Just anything to get you spiritually weak. Right. And finally, convince you that attending church regularly and working in the church is no good. Mm -hmm. He will make you think people don't like you mm -hmm. or the pastor overlooks you mm -hmm. or make you think the pastor is not right. Mm -hmm. And sometimes Satan has someone in your home to discourage you in many ways. Right. Remember, the Lord said you will have to resist the devil, yes. and he will flee from you. Yeah. Sometimes he will make you feel that you are not converted. Mm -hmm. Now let us try and think what the problem really is. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just common negligence, mm -hmm. and which will cause much suffering mentally and physically. Mm. Number one, are you really praying regularly as a Christian? Mm -hmm. Number two, are you supporting your church as you should? Mm -hmm. Are you uh, paying your honest tithes mm -hmm. and liberal in your offering mm -hmm. to God? Satan knows if you don't, if you do, it will bring blessings. Yes. And yes. if you don't, it will bring curses. Yes. Malachi 6, Malachi 3rd chapter, pardon me, Malachi 3rd, beginning at the 7th verse. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Number 3, have you just about given up going to church? Mm -hmm. Number four, 
Are you feeling too tired to go to church? This is a bad sign. Amen. A sign of failure. Amen. Number five. Is there someone in the church you don't like? Yeah. Number six, does church hold too long for you? <laughs> now these are common things Satan puts in our minds for he knows our minds. What we like and what we don't like. You will have to watch out for Satan. Yes. Yes. He is out to get you. Mm -hmm. yes. These are the last days yes. we are living in. Yes. Return to God. Yes. He will forgive you. Yes. It will take regular uh, attendance, mm -hmm. much prayer, mm -hmm. sacrificing mm -hmm. some of your time. Mm -hmm and turning a deaf ear mm -hmm. to Satan yeah. and working out your soul's salvation. Yes. Yes. Right. I trust something in this letter will open your eyes mm -hmm. to the tricks mm -hmm. of the devil. Mm -hmm. right. Watch out mm -hmm. or you will lose your soul. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. If you still hold so I'm going to read that. Now I'm going to read this next letter. Members, as I preached, that it is all right for the church to get into Corinth. Mm -hmm. That's the world. Mm -hmm. But it is not all right for Corinth to get into the church. Mm -hmm. Don't allow the devil to use you to bring Corinth into the body atmosphere of the church. Mm -hmm. As a roaring lion, he's going to to and fro, seeking whom he may devour. Right. Right. You have to watch the devil. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's tricky. Yes, he, is. he will make you think that you are uh, he'll make you think you are thinking right when you are dead wrong. Mm -hmm. yes. Your thinking has a lot to do with your actions yeah. and your reactions. Yeah. Think before you Critically act. Mm -hmm. What would Christ do? Mm -hmm. Be slow to think negative mm -hmm. about somebody that you might feel have something against you. Mm -hmm. right. Have you done what the Bible says to do? Mm -hmm. Go to your brother? Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you done that? Don't walk around with evil thoughts mm -hmm. and wicked imaginations. Mm -hmm. Do it the Lord's way. Right. Yeah. Be careful when you when your solitary religion mm -hmm. become part of your course away from your brother, brothers and sisters mm -hmm. in the Lord. Don't become like one of the moose who was eaten up by the lion because the devil whispered a lie in his ear. Be sober, be diligent to hear what the spirit says. Be slow to formulate an opinion about your brother and your sister Amen. in the Lord. Amen. Make sure your thoughts are based on the truth yes. and not on speculations. Mm -hmm. right. Sometimes it is not what it looks like. Right. Don't let the devil play in your mind, mm -hmm. having your
brooding in de depression? Mm. Have you brooding in depression? Mm -hmm. Have the mind of Christ. Yes. Yes. Whatsoever things are true. Yes. Whatsoever things are honest. Yes. Whatsoever things are just. Whatsoever things are pure. Yes. Whatsoever things are lovely. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever things are good report. Mm -hmm. Are of a good report. Mm -hmm. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, mm -hmm. think on these things mm -hmm. and not on anything negative. Mm -hmm. Evil thoughts can block your good health. Yes. Evil thoughts can block your success. Yes. Yes. Evil thoughts can block positive uh, decisions. Mm -hmm. Children of the Lord Jesus Christ, you have to put up a fight now. Yes. Right. We are nearing the end of this age, yes. the judgment. Yes. Don't let him catch you with your work undone, right. with negative thoughts and wicked imagination. Right. Right. Have the mind of Christ. Yes. Bless you. Have the mind of Christ. Bless you. Amen. 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 Now, can you tell me the difference between these two letters? Two writings. Can anybody? Are they similar or are they yes. 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 What's the similarity? Sister. Interview to God, Pastor God, and the church. The main similarity I hear between the two letters is a warning. R. R, excuse me. R, the warnings about we're coming to the end, we're nearing the judgment, so there's a lot more things that are happening. There's a lot more that the, that the devil is doing to attack our mind, to get us distracted, of focusing on God and focusing on people and things so that we can get distracted out of the church. Anybody else? All right. In obedience to God, no honor to you, Dr. Scott, to the officers of the church and everyone present here this evening. Um, one of the things that I noticed is that in both of the letters, you, uh, I hear that as Christians, we have a responsibility to put up a fight against the devil. We have something to do. We cannot become um, lackadaisical. We cannot become... Um, satisfied and not be diligent about our own personal Christian um, work, reading our Bible, praying, coming to church, focus. We have a work to do in these last times. All right, amen. amen. Okay. So Scott, speak out, please. Pastor Scott, one of the things I've noticed you've seen to emphasize is making sure Satan doesn't divide the church and turn us against one another. Sister Audrey. In the basic I didn't know how to do Pastor Sky and so everyone here. Speak out, please. Um, I'm not certain on the dates of the red letters written. I have a, an idea, but I, I don't really know. I know the second one was written recently because we received it, but <coughs> the answer is still the same. Mm -hmm. So I don't know when the first one was written. When I'm going to tell you when the first one was written. Mm -hmm. The first letter that I wrote, I mean that I read, was written May the 17th, 1998. Mm. Wow. And our, the second letter was written May the 6th, 2019. Wow. 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 All those years separated the two letters, but the answer is still the same. Yeah. Yeah. Bible, 19 years different. Right. Wow. Right. Stay in church, yes. keep coming, don't get distracted, right. and find any excuse to stay at home because mm -hmm. the devil is do it to the same tactics of destroying yeah. the church, trying to get your mind off, giving you a reason, an excuse on uh, why you can't come, knowing full well that if you don't, you're just going to get weaker and weaker, and then you'll catch you uh, with your work and then. But um, I, that's what I know is the letter that's written is far apart, but the answer is still the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Smith, you don't be Scott, don't want to see Pastor Scott. All the, the similarity that I uh, understood there, on both levels, they was talking about 
not allowing the Satan to speak in your mind. Mm -hmm. Stay away from the voice of Satan telling you you go to church too much and you can't do that. I saw that similarity. Then I saw a similarity that you ought to read your Bible and to pray mm -hmm. and be led by the Holy Spirit. And then and the, another similarity was uh, in your Christian life, are you still diligent like you was or have you started backsliding? Mm -hmm. So that's the similarity that I saw. In the but one thing you said, you can't stay away from the devil's voice you can turn the deaf ear. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can hear it because he's going to talk to you. Right? Mm -hmm. But you don't have to Spot. Right. Anybody else? Did everybody else see their letter? <laughs> All right. So, the late Dr. Carl J. Anderson wrote the first yes, letter. That's right. Amen. Amen. And we're going to pass out both letters to everybody. Amen. 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 Now, we're going to go to our respective classes. I have talked the lesson tonight. Amen.